Hey everybody, Trevor the Pet Guy here with another video on how to puppy proof your house. My friend Chris from Dallas has informed me that he's bringing a new puppy home soon, so he volunteered his apartment to take a look at and see if he's ready for a puppy. So let's take a look. So at first, things look pretty clean in here. You'll notice there's just a few things I can see right off the bat that might actually lead to a couple problems. For example, the shoes here. I can tell you a puppy's gonna think that's a toy the second he walks in. Uh, gum, for another example, is, is not a bad choice. A lot of gum has xylitol in it, which is just terrible. But anyway, any loose items like that are gonna end up looking either like a toy or food. Puppies are curious, we know this. So we wanna find a place for them where the puppy can't get into it. Another thing that I've noticed is that the couches here are actually very nice. There's no real problem for that. Um, and you have a glass table too. On the other hand, your computer chair might look like a chew toy. So if you look at the legs, you might want to consider that ap bitter apple spray we were talking about, where you can spray it on anything that your puppy's going to get at, and they will not eat it because it tastes awful and smells awful to them. So the next step is to get on all fours, literally, and pretend to be a dog. You're going to want to look at your apartment from the perspective of the dog you're bringing home. Look on the ground. Notice if you see any loose items, anything that your puppy might want to get into. As you can navigate around your apartment, you might notice that there are certain areas that are problematic. Like over here, we'll notice that there's some cords. We'll probably want to do some cord management. So, after we've gone through your home or apartment, checked for problem areas and found solutions, there's just a few more steps you need to take to puppy-proof your home. Number one, find a spot for the crate. You're gonna need to crate train your dog, and I recommend putting it in another room besides your bedroom. If they can see you while they're sleeping, they're probably not gonna get much sleep, and they'll probably wake you up, to be honest. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find some appropriate toys, maybe even a dog bed, so that your dog is not encouraged to play with things like shoes and those cords we talked about, but actual dog toys. So, this has been Trevor the Pet Guy with another video. I hope it helps. Hope you visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash whiskerdocs, and remember to wag more and bark less. Cheers. Thank you.